Well, if no nation can rise higher than its woman, then the resurrection of black people occurs through the resurrection of the black woman. It seems that most black women believe they have no need to be resurrected. They're fine. Well, you're made to see out of the eyes of the mortal enemy that you so dearly love. So your view absolutely does not count at all. The Supreme Being Master Far Muhammad knows best. So he brought with him that which would begin the process of the resurrection of the black woman first and then all other women throughout the earth. And we have it here in the Supreme Wisdom Lessons given by Master Far Muhammad, the Supreme Being. And it states, what is the meaning of MGT and GCC? Muslim Girls Training and General Civilization Class. This was the name given to the training of women and girls in North America. How to keep house, how to rear their children, how to take care of their husbands, so cook, and in general, how to act at home and abroad. These training units were named by our prophet and leader of Islam, leader of Islam, W.D. Fard. So let us contemplate on this. The most powerful human being that has ever lived and ever will live, according to the Messianic prophecies, Master Farah Muhammad, established the MGT and GCC. So this is akin to the originator of creation bringing forth the woman from himself. But he does this through a specific teaching that is rooted in his divine love for her. And through this teaching in the presence of his Messiah, he grows her to love him. That's the goal. This is how the woman in the fruit of her womb establishes the kingdom of Allah because that's the only way it's going to be established. Through the woman and through the fruit of her womb. We'll leave it there for now. So now Master Far Muhammad is this he described in the Quranic verse that we read from the outset. Again, where it states he originator. It is who created you from a single soul. And of the same did he make his mate. That he might find comfort in her. So when he covers her, she bears a light burden, then moves about with it. So in the restrictive reality of the domestic life, Master Far Muhammad requires his Messiah to marry women whom he has made for him. Now, rem now remember, Master Far Muhammad sees eons into the future. We don't see what will become of our offspring, eons into the future. But he does, because he's the eternal God. So he tolerates our misunderstanding of what he has brought us into. And he accomplishes his will nonetheless. <laughs> 